Hey what's up this is Chris from Extra Fame. So today's review is about the People W2 as we are waiting for the People W3 which is soon be available. Um, basically the, the People W2 is an 8 inches um, Windows 8.1 tablet. So Windows 8.1 with Bing actually, so it's a special um, feature. Um, we can have a quick look at the packaging before talking a bit more about that. So we have like a resolution of 1280 by 800. And otherwise on the back here you can see that this is actually pretty surprising. We have 32 gigabytes. So basically this tablet is around like, you have two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is quite surprising because usually most of the eight inches tablets on the market have one and 16 gigabytes. So it's, it's a good point for the people W2. And uh, here we can see that this is the Intel Atom uh, Z3735D, Z so which has a clock speed of 1.33 gigahertz and a burst speed of 1.83 gigahertz. Okay, so then we have uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and uh, the built-in 3G is actually just optional, and um, and basically that's it. And we are also have uh, Office 365 uh, for free for a year, so it's not too bad at all. So let's open the box and see what's going on. So here's the tablet, we'll get back to it very, very soon. So as I said just before, here we have the Office 365, so free for a year. And then the warranty cards here. Then inside the box, if I can open it, okay. So we have uh, the charger, USB charger here, which is a five volt. And um, so this is, can see here. So this is like a US plug, but uh, when you check out on electrofame.com on our website, you can choose actually the EU or the UK plug without any problem at all. Um, then we have here an OTG cable, so micro USB and OTG here, which is pretty useful to transfer some data from time to time. Um, so basically that's it. Now let's have a look actually at the tablet itself. So this is the Pipo W2. So eight inches, pretty small, holds very well in hand. And uh, so the dimensions are actually uh, 206 millimeters, so uh, long, by uh, 126 millimeters, and a thickness of only 10.3 millimeters. So the weight is actually very nice because it's only 360 grams, and uh, it's not that heavy to be honest. So otherwise, uh, talking about uh, the design, so here the back cover is actually a plastic back cover um, and we see here that actually when we drop it on the table it's kind of gripping on so it's like it's not like glossy very smooth uh, surface it can hold on, on different tables no problem at all so we also have uh, two speakers here uh, on the back we have a 5 megapixels camera then on the side here we see that we have quite a lot of things so let's start by here we have the volume button and the power, and uh, sorry, not the power button, but the, the Windows button. So basically, when you press on it, you come back just to the tile, so to the menu. We'll check it out in a very short time. And uh, then we have the power button here, the jack, 3.5 millimeters jack, uh, the micro USB here. We also have a good feature, which is actually a SDMI uh, on it. So you have a, um, an output HDMI, which is pretty interesting if you want to, to project the the tablet for example on your big television and on a projector or whatsoever you want and we have here a TF card uh, or micro SD card so up to uh, 64 gigabytes and the DC in and the microphone here so basically that's it for uh, for the design of the tablet itself so we can check it out and on the front I forgot to say that but we have here actually the 2 megapixels camera so you have front and back uh, camera. So basically that's it uh, for the um, for the presentation, introduction of this tablet. And um, what else can we say uh, just before starting it is actually we have a 5000 mAh battery inside which allows you for, let's say around about you know, seven to eight hours of use at least, you know, for sure. I mean, of course, depending on what you're doing. Um, so basically that's it. So now let's let's start it and uh, and check it out inside quickly and to see what's going on with Windows 8.1. So let's start it. So 
So here we go. We see that we have auto rotation, no problem. So this is the tablet, so pretty fast actually, responsive, nice. So we can check it out uh, for the different applications that we have inside. So as you see, the list is very nice. Actually, we have a lot of different things. Um, the package is complete. So I was saying before, and here we have like Microsoft Office. So for free for a year, I repeat. Uh, the, otherwise, you know, you have access to a lot of different things. Um, we won't here, you know, explain everything regarding uh, because this is like specific to uh, to Windows 8.1, and we, if we have to make I mean, if we have to explain everything regarding uh, Windows 8.1, it's going to take too much time. So I advise you actually to um, to watch some tutorials on how to use Windows 8.1 if you don't know yet. And otherwise, if you have any questions, you can still contact us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible for sure. So basically, that's it. Uh, so as you see here, this is the tiles. So you can set it up. Basically, you can drag the applications from here into here to the tiles and to have a quick access to it. No problem at all. Um, here you see that you have the desktop, so we can actually quickly have, so, oh, sorry. So when you keep pressing on it here, you have access to different uh, menu here. You see the, we have a lot of different options. So we could go to the control panel. Of course, if I select the right one, sorry about that. So here we go. So here we see that we have like a normal control panel from your uh, like like on on a basic computer. So now what we can see actually is like the the system and settings and check the system itself. So just to confirm what is going on. So here we see that we have two gigabytes of RAM and a uh, 1.46 usable right now and uh, as I said so it was like a 1.33 gigahertz uh, Intel Atom the 3735D uh, we have like a 32-bit operating system on it but you see this is a 60-bit uh, base processor um, so that's it and um, so we have a 10 point uh, 10 yeah 10 points touch screen so capacitive touch screen um, Otherwise, basically that's it uh, for the quick, quick uh, specifications for uh, regarding this this tablet. Um, otherwise, what we can do? So I was talking before about the um, the button here on the back uh, on the top, sorry, which is like the window. So if we press on it, we come back right away to the tiles as I told you. So you can go wherever you want, whenever you want to press on it, you come back to the tiles and to the home menu kind of. So otherwise, uh, here. We see that actually we have like different access to uh, the devices, the settings, so we can check it out. Here you can go right away to the, to the PC settings and you can change whatever you want. So the same here, if you need some help about that, you know, please have a look at some tutorials or whatsoever. And uh, you can ask us questions, no problem, but we won't explain everything and we'll probably make a good tutorial on how to use uh, Windows very soon if more people are asking. So. Basically, uh, that's it. Uh, what else to say about this uh, this tablet? So, first of all, you know we have to to say and to, and to say it again that actually this is an Intel Bell T uh, quad core processor V3735D. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, basically, uh, it means that this this processor is actually not not very good actually for complex uh, softwares and uh, modern modern gaming so it's not recommended to 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 install like very very hardcore games on it because uh, this tablet will not really uh, hold it properly uh, however uh, regarding all video apps and um, multimedia internet office no problem at all you, you will enjoy uh, with this tablet without any problem at all for sure so what else do we have? Actually, we have uh, the um, we have the Wi-Fi. We have the Bluetooth on it. Uh, however, we don't have any GPS. So please bear that in mind. So no GPS and no SIM cards. Um, so basically, that's it for uh, for what is going on with it. So one of the things, for example, when you're here on the on the desktop, if you want to see what is going on, so you can just 
actually I can create that. So you can switch your the different screen when you when you drag from the side, okay? So you can just try a lot of different things and you will see it's no problem at all. So now another thing that we can actually try is uh, check the sound and check the video uh, to see what's going on inside. So here we have like a downloaded video so we can put in... So we can turn the sound up. So this is a sample of 4K available on internet. So it's an exactly, exactly the 4K um, resolution but close by. And we can see here that actually the resolution of 1280 by 800 on this 16 tenths frame is very nice. And the sound is actually pretty powerful. So there's two speakers. It's very powerful. And uh, the bass and the treble is actually very well balanced. It's very nice to hear it. It's very very good sound, so to watch actually his movies on it you will very much enjoy because the sound is extremely powerful and the screen is nice too. So you can easily see that you know for even for angles it's no problem at all. So basically that's it. So one last thing, one last thing that maybe you can check out is uh, the camera itself. So here we see what's going on. So we'll just block that, no problem. So we can just take like a, for example, a picture of this little uh, stuff here to see what's going on. So we we'll just make. So here we go. So this is it basically. So when we zoom on it, we see that, of course, you know, this tablet is not made, you know, for high, high, high quality pictures. But to be honest, for a 5 megapixels camera, it's not that bad at all. Um, so that's it basically for, for the camera itself. So it's pretty simple. You don't have a lot of things. It's just like to take quick pictures on the go. Um, Otherwise, you still have the two megapixels camera on the front, which is like very nice if you want to use Skype, for example, uh, or other um, social uh, applications. So, so basically, that's it. Uh, to be honest, for the uh, for the Pipo W2. Uh, so here we go. And um, so to make a quick summary about it, uh, very quick, quick. So this is an 8 inches um, tablet with a resolution of 1280 by 800, so an IPS screen. We have 10 touch uh, capacitive screen, so we have like a 16 tenths for the frame. Uh, we also have 2 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes, uh, which is very uh, surprising and pretty interesting for such a tablet. The, the processor is a quad core one, clocked at 1.33 gigahertz, which is quite powerful anyway. Uh, we have Windows 8.1 with Bing on it, uh, Office 365 for a year, so it's pretty useful. You have uh, 2 megapixels camera on the front, 5 megapixels camera on the back, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, no GPS. Uh, 5000 mAh battery uh, inside, so 7 to 8 hours at least. Um, otherwise, what else to say, it's only 360 grams, so it's very nice, hold very well in hand. And otherwise, we have like here two speakers, and, um, and that's it basically. So this tablet is not done, I mean not good, not recommended actually for uh, complex softwares or modern gaming, but for video apps, multimedia, internet, office, whatsoever you want, what else. It will work very well on it, so no problem at all. So, if you have any question regarding this tablet, um, please feel free to leave a comment below this video, and we will we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you want to purchase it or to check more specifications, um, feel free to visit our website at www.electrofame.com. And uh, 
otherwise until then I hope you enjoy it and see you later for the next one then bye bye Hey what's up, this is Chris from Extrafame. So today's review is about the People W2 as we are waiting for the People W3 which is soon be available. Um, basically the, the People W2 is an 8 inches um, Windows 8.1 tablet. So Windows 8.1 with Bing actually, so it's a special um, feature. Um, we can have a quick look at the packaging before talking a bit more about that. So we have like a resolution of 1280 by 800 